Ropes, slings, knots, bends, and hitches are all part of broadcast engineering. At the transmitter or even the studio, you need to secure equipment for transport or lifting. Not everyone had the benefit of being in the scouts, so knot tying for many is just a matter of making enough loops and crossing ends until it held. This video will show you five different knots. Three will secure two ropes together, these are called bends, and the other two will show you how to attach a rope to a piece of equipment. These are referred to as hitches. We start with one of the most common knots, or bends, the square knot. The square knot, or reef knot, is considered untrustworthy and should never be used for carrying real loads. The square knot starts by placing two ends one over the other, wrapping one around and using that same one that was on top to go on top again. This is where I would always get mixed up. By doing this it makes a fairly secure knot that's good for packages. Here you can see it again in slow motion. The yellow one is on top, it bends down and under, and then the yellow one goes on top again and bends down and under. This forms the square knot. It comes apart fairly easily. The Zeppelin knot was used to secure Zeppelin aircraft and is considered extremely trustworthy and easy to undo. You start by making two loops, one on each end of the ropes. The first one, the bend goes underneath. The top one, the bend goes over. The two loops are laid on top of each other, and then the top loop's end is pushed through from the bottom, and the bottom loop's end is pushed through from the top. And that's it. It's extremely strong and will not become undone. Here it is again in slow motion. The first loop with the free end going underneath, and the second loop with the free end on top. The two loops are placed one on top of the other, and the free end for the top loop is inserted through the bottom through both loops. and the free end of the bottom loop is pushed through from the top through both loops. And that's it. The unique thing about the Zeppelin knot is that although it's very strong and will not come undone, it is very easy to take apart. Just pull back here and the rope easily slips out no matter how much tension had been on the rope. The same for the other side. The sheet bend is a very simple knot to make but very trustworthy and is very good for joining two different size ropes together. You start the sheet bend by making a loop at one end of one rope and placing the other end through the loop, crossing over and under, and then back up and through itself. In this way, the ropes basically bind onto each other, and that's why it's good for two different sized ropes. Once again, slowed down. First, a loop. 
and then the second one is placed underneath. It is then wrapped around the loop. And is brought up through itself from the bottom. The sheet bend is a very reliable and trustworthy knot. Another feature of the sheet bend is that although it's very strong, it is also very easy to take apart. The trucker's hitch is used to secure a rope to an object, and it's really easy to take off. The trucker's hitch begins with a loop passed over a bar. Another loop is placed through that one, securing the rope to the bar. Now a third loop is created from the loose end, or the working end, and they are tightened. This is important, to tighten the two. This is what will make it secure. But the best part of the trucker's hitch is its quick release. And now again, slowed down. The first loop is brought over the bar. The second loop is brought up through it. And it's tightened, pulling on both ropes. A third loop is now placed from the working end. And now, the load end and the loop are pulled tight. This secures the hitch to the bar. Again, the best part is the quick release of the trucker's hitch. This one is called two half hitches, and although not as easy to take apart, it is much simpler to make. It starts with the working end being bent over the bar. It is then wrapped under itself and tightened. And now again, wrapped over and then under itself and through. Those are the two half hitches. It is very strong and will not let go. Now, once again, slowed down. The working end of the rope is slid over the bar, making a loop. The end of the rope is pushed through the middle of the loop and tightened. This is performed once again. The working end of the rope is wrapped around and up through that loop and tightened. The knot will not come undone and your load is secure. 